I don't know, Marlena. All this stuff you're saying about Orpheus, it's got me even more freaked out that this creep has my son. I'm so sorry, Steve. And sociopathic tendencies, no concept of the feelings of others, total lack of remorse. He's not a total sociopath. He's able to form attachments to people. Oh, you mean other psychos like uh, Weston and Xander? All right, pull together the ransom money. What? You raised $20 million already? Well, it was just a matter of hooking up with the right people, explaining the situation between Orpheus and Joey, and had them lined up ready to pledge now. Didn't get the full 20. What is remaining, Doc and I can chip in. I don't know what to say, man. I mean, you're my partner. No, sir. We love him, too, Steve. So, any new intel come in on what's going on with Joey when they're holding him? No. All we know for sure is that Orpheus is definitely calling the shots for the other two. All right, then we should be hearing from him soon. So if you say he can form attachments, does that mean that we can figure out a way to play him when he does call? He's a lot older now. What, so you're saying age has mellowed him? No, I'm not sure. But what I am saying is if he is motivated by revenge, he's working on emotion, not logic. He will make mistakes. Well, then we got to find a way to exploit that. I think I have. That black guy Xander gave you looks painful. No, I'm OK. Xander, he uh, tends to go a little overboard. I can take it. Like your father. I haven't hurt you, huh? I'm getting bored watching you shiver here. I don't want your dirty jacket, buddy. Tough guy, huh? Suit yourself. Orpheus wanted two things. First of all, he wanted to get revenge for his wife's death. Even though it was an accident. And he wanted a mother for his children. Right, so he kidnaps a woman to be their mother, the wife of the man who killed their real mother. Now, how do you think that was gonna work out? <laughs> well, I've never known Orpheus to be very logical. The unique thing about Orpheus is he's two different people. One is a man with no feelings, and one is a man, a loving father, devoted to his beautiful children. You know, I have a hard time by an Orpheus as a loving anything. Remember this about him. He's motivated by love and the loss of love. OK, so that brings us back to Joe and a way to get to Orpheus. Are you saying his weakness is love? His weakness? is the love of his children. Do you know what Milo Harp did to end up in prison? What? He killed two men. And now he has our son? He's not gonna kill our son. Orpheus is targeting the four of us, not Joey. He's got no reason to hurt him. You know, Kayla, if you can't, uh... Count on his better instincts. Just, just remember that keeping Joey alive, that's Orpheus's ticket to $20 million. He's not going to see a cent of that if Joey isn't safe. Here, his back is up against the wall. He knows that the police and the FBI are looking everywhere for him. He is desperate, and desperate people do anything. And I know that you are all just trying to make me feel better, but the, there's no guarantee that I am ever going to see my son again, and you all know it. No, stop it. All my opinions are based on the time I spent with Orpheus on the island. What was your experience? Oh, want to know about our experience? The psycho kidnapped Kayla and then tried to drown us in a freaking sewer. I shot him. Thought I watched him die. And then I found you and I figured this whole thing was over. 
course, we flash forward a whole lifetime. That son of a bitch shows up at Brady's wedding. And here we are, folks. It's Roman. All right, Xander and Weston knocked off a convenience store. Clerk recognized them. They took off. Didn't make much. Good. They're desperate. We're in endgame now. Got to be ready. I'm standing here, and I'm, I'm weighing the pros and cons of this ransom thing. Doc, you're right. The last thing we want to do right now is, is make Orpheus feel like his back's against the wall anymore than it already is. And take it out on Joey. Exactly. So I vote for the ransom. I can, uh, I can meet with him face to face. I'm sure he would prefer that. And I will uh, pay him the money in exchange for Joey. No, current wisdom says you shouldn't negotiate with terrorists. Well, current wisdom isn't working for me right now, partner. You sure about this, John? Hey, Orpheus is running low on food and supplies. He's got to get out of town. We can make that happen. He's not going to jeopardize this. And I swear to God, he's not going to get a dime of that money until Joey is safely with me. What, do you think he's going to go for that? If my partner and I can figure out the right way to approach him. Listen to me. Joey figured out a way to get Claire out of there. And he will figure out a way to get himself out of there. Oops. Listen, man. I disagree with you about what Orpheus' main objective is now. I don't think it's to get out of Salem. I think he still wants revenge. And I bet he wouldn't mind going out in a blaze of glory. Especially if he can take you with him. So if we're gonna drop that 20 million, I don't think you should be involved in the exchange. But we gotta get him to take the bait, so I gotta be the guy. Any signs of movement yet? No, nothing so far. Whoa, check that. You get something? Dad. Hello, John. Morpheus. Shall we get started? Where's Joey? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Where's the boy? Relax, John. I never said I'd bring Joey with me. Just know that the lad is safe. He's with Clyde at another location, and he'll be released when the money's transferred and it's been authenticated. Then I'll give him a signal and we'll deliver Joey as promised. Go ahead. Feel free to relay the terms back to headquarters. Did you copy that? Damn, bastards didn't burn Joey. What do we do? We can't do anything yet. Our hands are tied, or if his knows that. We gotta move forward. Here's how it works. You want the money? I want proof Joe is alive. My word isn't good enough? No, it's not. I want proof. Or this deal, it's dead. Someone sounds like he still thinks he's calling the shots. <laughs> well, you're lucky that I am in a cooperative mood. Clyde. Start a video call with the kid. Hey, Joy, it's John. How you holding up? Uh, been better. But you're okay. 
coming home sounds pretty nice. Eh, we're working on that. You just stay calm and this will all be over soon. Chit chat time is over. You've seen him. He lives. For now. Well, I just wanted to reassure him everything was all right. And you did a great job. So what do you say? Shall we get this thing going? Got something? Yes. Dad's brilliant. Why do you say that? He, he did it. He kept Orpheus on the line long enough to. Oh. We got Such him. Goodness. We can locate Joey. Oh. That's just great. We need you to stall. We need more time. Come on. Come on. What the hell? I'm ready on this end. What's the holdup? Can't connect to the server. Or maybe you're just stalling. Well, you know what, pal? Maybe this is your fault. You know, blowing up the power station didn't do wonders for our connectivity. I'm running out of patience, Mr. Black. Well, relax, relax, hold on. Here we go. All right, we're in. Now all we have to do is wait for approval and money's transferred. Good. Because if you're toying with my terms, you're gonna pay a steep price. Quit testing me, John. I don't like being tested. Finish the deal. You think you're a cowboy, don't you? Kind of man who does things his way. I told you not to try anything. And now what are you gonna do, huh? You're gonna pretend that you don't know what I'm talking about. Not a clue. I don't know what just transpired, but it's on you, John. Don't know what you're talking about. You and your friends made a terrible miscalculation today. And you are all gonna live to regret it. Time will tell. And each one of them has a different trigger. So we have to approach them all very differently. I have uh, made up some files on each one. Starting with Xander. Xander, AKA Alexandros Cook Kyriakos. A young man who, according to his own uncle, was considered a bad seed and never fully accepted into the family. The rejection and neglect he suffered and his inability to prove himself worthy of the Kyriakos name has manifested itself into a need for control through money, manipulation, and violence. That brings us to Clyde West. Clyde Weston is a man consumed by guilt over having abused his children the same way he was abused by his father. Ironically, Clyde doesn't hold himself or his son Ben responsible for their crimes. Instead, he is blame shifted onto Chad Demira, determined to redeem himself in Ben's eyes by reuniting him with Chad's son. Favorite tool of redemption. Also violence. And finally we come to Orpheus. He's the most dangerous because he's got nothing to lose. He's consumed by grief that he's never been able to get past. He's lost all perspective. He sees the world in black and white. His end is going to be violent. 
But the one question remains is, will he go alone? Or will he take people he thinks of as his enemies with him? Then what do we do? You already made it clear that all three are past the point of rational negotiation. And that might be our one advantage. All righty. Based on these profiles, we know exactly how to uh, trigger each man to get the responses that we're looking for. I've uh, put flags on certain mental disorders that correlate to each man. We want to study those. They are predictable. OK, so now that we know what makes each and every one of these guys tick, so to find a way to exploit the hell out of them and uh, hopefully pressure them into screwing up. You should know, I tried that when Orpheus showed me the picture of his kids. That's his biggest weakness. I figured that, but it was like, after he finished talking about his kids, he got, like, really angry at me for getting him to open up about it. Wow, excellent, man. This is exactly why you came. We might have to rethink the way we push his buttons. Well, how are we going to do that when we don't even know where they are? Well, once Claire got away, they left the warehouse, and we ended up in some new hideout. It kind of looked like the old one. You know, if we start uh, searching the warehouse district, I think we might tip them off. It's not a good idea. Which is why we're not going after them. We're going to flush them out of hiding. We're going to force their hands on our turf. So besides going over what Marlena flagged, how do we make contact? Hey, wait a minute. We can't do this alone. There's just five of us. Who else are you talking about? Everyone who has a target on their back. Not just from one guy, but from all three of them. You think it's smart to get civilians involved? We're already involved. We all want the same thing. We all want an end to this reign of terror. So in my experience, we all have to work together. And that's the way we get this thing done. I don't think we're the only ones with backup. What does that mean? The entire time I was held hostage, Clyde was on the phone constantly, asking guys if they wanted in on the action, bringing the town to its knees. All right, fine. No reason to get everybody involved here. We don't need that manpower. As long as we present a united front. Do you see a problem with that? Well, not everybody gets along. Well, they're damn well going to have to rise above, aren't they? No, that's a fact. They won't have a problem putting the differences aside to make this happen. I don't think that's going to happen with those maniacs. Even though they're supposed to be working together, they're constantly ragging on each other. Which will only help our divide and conquer strategy. <laughs>